OK, well, there's Taylor Townsend in your picture. She's got the headset on, trying to chill herself out. But let's get her thoughts ahead of this uh, Junior Girls Singles final. Well, I'm now very lucky to be joined by the young American Taylor Townsend, who we've been catching up with all week, but has now progressed into the final of the girls' championships here at Wimbledon. Congratulations. Quite a match. Three sets, two hours and 20 minutes. You dropped your knees at the end of it. You must have been so thrilled to make it through. Thank you. Yeah, I was. I was definitely happy. Um, I played her last year in Orange Bowl, and I knew that she was a very good player and a tough opponent. So I was just really happy that we had such a good match, and I was able to pull through it. Yeah, two six seven six seven five. What were you thinking going into the second set? You really had a lot of work to do to turn it around. Yeah, I mean she was playing so well, and I p personally I wasn't really upset because I was like, if she keeps doing this, and it's just too good. Like it just was her day, and it wasn't my day, you know. Um, but I just tried to just continue to do the same thing and stay solid and um, get the ball back deep. And when I got my chance, didn't take advantage of it. How much does it mean to you to have knocked out the second seed in this competition? I mean, seeding doesn't really matter. I know that I knew that from the start that she was such a tough opponent. And tomorrow I'm playing the number one seed, and I've played her, and I know that she's a tough opponent. So um, I'm just really happy that I was able to pull through it, and I knew that she was going to be tough. Um, but I was, I stayed in there. You were tougher. Uh, you dropped your knees, as I mentioned at the beginning. Is that a sign of how much this means to you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm an emotional person. Like. I get really excited, not so much like crying type emotional, but I get really excited about things. So um, I was just really happy, you know, because it was a tough match and I knew that it was going to be tough. She was playing so well and I just fought through it and it was a mental battle, a physical battle. So I was really happy because this whole trip has been, you know, really long and so many things have been going into it. And so it's just a, a great, a great way that I can end the trip really well, you know. Well, you mentioned your finalist. It is the number one seed, Belinda Benchik from Switzerland. You played her recently, actually, at the French Open, which she went on to win. So she came out on top that time around. But how do you fancy your chances here on grass? I think it's it'll be a good match. I'm looking forward to playing. I love grass, and she's a good player on grass as well. She's playing right now in the um, double semifinal, so she's a good player. Um, but I think that it'll be a good match, and the best person will win tomorrow. You have won a junior title before in the singles at the Aussie Open back in 2012. How much hard work has it been to get back to this stage to, to try and lift another junior trophy? It's been hard work. Um, we've just been working mainly towards the pros, you know, but coming back and being able to play the juniors and just get matches. And um, I had a different approach this year, just coming here to play matches and doing the right thing every single match. And if it worked, it worked. If it didn't, it didn't. But then we're going to go back and just do the same thing. So that was kind of my approach this whole tournament. And that's still my approach for tomorrow as well. So I'm looking forward to it. And you're trying to do it in, in some senses, the Wimbledon double, because you lifted a Wimbledon trophy last year in the junior doubles and hopefully could go all the way in the singles this year. It must be a nice piece of silverware that you could hopefully add to the cabinet. Yes, definitely. My mom likes the Wimbledon trophy. <laughs> um, so maybe I can give this one to my dad. I don't know. <laughs> Just lastly, how would you sum up your confidence now? Looking back over the last 12 months, things that you've been through, uh, success that you've had, and to be at this stage now, how would you sum up how you're feeling? I'm feeling really good. I think a lot of things are finally clicking. Um, I'm feeling great on the court and I think a lot of the hard work and the work that we've been putting in has is paying off um, we still have a long way to go and I'm definitely not satisfied with where I am but I think it's a great start it certainly is a great start and it's not over yet you're in tomorrow the final number one court one of the biggest courts here at Wimbledon have you ever played on that kind of a stage before well I played on Rod Laver last year so that was a huge court and I played on court 17 last year at US Open, but that's not nearly as big as court one. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I hope it's filled. A lot of people. A lot of Americans, hopefully, to support you? Yeah, I mean, it would be nice. But, you know, the English, you know, we have a connection as well. We speak English. <laughs> we do. Across the <laughs> pond. We love each other, really. Great to chat to you. Well done. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.